Hi, good morning everyone, good morning. Welcome to Worksheets for Students on, whoa, on Monday, October 11th. Well, wasn't that a great video yesterday? I know you're seeing the same green shirt. I just put it on for the video yesterday, by the way, and it took it off. <laughs> All right. So here we are, it's Worksheets for Students on Monday, October 11th. Yay! How do I say, let's go? Keep your shoulder down, right? Say, let's go. Nozomi, let's go. Ryunosuke, let's go. All right. Hi, Rina. Rina, hi, Greg. Good girl. All right. All the gang is here, and most of the gang is here. And it's worksheets for students, Monday, October 11. Let's go. The incy wincy spider went up the spider web. That's right. It's still about Halloween, but all about the spider and the spider web. Let's do it, you guys. This is number one. Number one, there's that spider. You gotta trace the line. And trace spider. How many spiders can you see, Haramasa? I can see one spider. Nice, that's right. Nozomi, question's coming for you soon, Nozomi. Ah, this is number two. It says, Go, go, spider. Go, go, spider. Go, go, spider. Go, go. Why is it going in between the two spooky trees, Hadamasa? Why? Why, Hadamasa? Because it's, it's, it's making a sandwich? No, it's making a spider web. That's right. Oh, look at that. Wow. Go, go, spider. Yeah, let me tell you a little secret, though, okay? You guys, are you ready for this? Yesterday at HK Chiba Mountain and Forest, as we're, as we're setting the rope lines, setting the walking pass, cutting up the walking pass, <laughs> so much cutting, but also was able to see so many beautiful spiders and their spider webs. So that was really, really amazing. I didn't take any pictures of them, but they were just amazing. No one has been up there since January this year, so more than 10 months. So those spider webs were pretty big, <laughs> some of them. Uh, yes, but that was really, really special, you guys, really beautiful. It's going to connect beautifully with our excursion coming up on October 31st. How many spider webs can we see, and what can we see in the spider webs? And if we get close enough, we can count the legs. <laughs> Right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight legs. Hey, Nozomi, Ryunosuke, Haramasa, I can see eight legs. Oh, I think the only ALC coin goes to Haramasa. Oh no, Nozomi, quick. Look at that spider web. You're going to trace it yourself with the crayons, you guys. I love my spider web, it's saying but you can trace with the crayon, okay? That's a really beautiful spider web. Where is the strongest point of the spider web? That's what we're going to also be talking about with the upper groups today. I need spooky trees to make my spider web. So circle, circle the spooky trees with the spider web. Moving a little bit quicker today. Not because there's not time, but because it's just, you guys are good. Did you read the email this morning about the, about the school score with the Cambridge YLE tests? Wow, 75%, that's, it's amazing, it's amazing. Super proud of all the students who took it. Great experience, that's number one, but also really cool to know that the scores were that high, it's great. Way to go, guys. Keep watching these videos. Okay, this one says, when I fly up high, I can see how many spooky trees and how many creepy spider webs. When when the bat flies up high, how many how many spooky trees and how many creepy spider webs? Okay, here's number eight. It's ratio time. When the bat flies up high, it can see how many spooky trees and how many creepy spider webs. What's the ratio? So how many spooky trees, how many creepy spider webs? Then give me the numbers. 
But is it as small as it can go? Is it as small as it can go? When you have a ratio or a fraction, you always want to break it down as small as you can. So, what number goes into both of these? You can divide, divide that number into both. That will give you the smallest ratio. Love mathematics. Here we go. This one says, I can see a creepy spider. If your job is to draw it, you guys. Remember, the strongest point is in the center. So draw your center and then slowly make your way out. All right. I brought some sticks, twigs. I brought some twigs back from HK Chiba Mountain yesterday and some yarn. So you know what we're going to be making today as a special project. And last one, next year, just so you know, next year at HK Chiba, we will grow pumpkins that we can make into jack-o'-lanterns. So these can be your pumpkin pictures. That's right. Next year, we're going to make our very own pumpkin patch, plant the seeds around April or May, March, April, May, give them time to grow, and then Let's carve out our pumpkins, pump, our jack-o'-lanterns. HK Chiba Beach is amazing for that. HK Chiba Mountain for another purpose, as you saw in yesterday's video, right? Please watch yesterday's video. That was great. Took the drone up there too. Yes, it still works. <laughs> Barely. I know, actually crashed yesterday, if you can believe it. Broke one of the propellers. But that's okay, lucky there's extras it comes with. All right, I'll see you guys later. Haramasa, you can say, see you later, everybody. Uh, I don't think you can hear Haramasa, right? Haramasa, louder, Haramasa, see you later, everybody. That's how he gets some points. Nozomi, see you later, everybody. See you later, everybody. Rina, Ryunosuke, say bye-bye. Ryunosuke, bye-bye. Nice, you guys. All right, here it comes. Here comes Greg's hand. Looks like a what? If I took some yarn, it could almost look like a... Here comes a spider web. Five, four, three, two, one. Bye!